I want to hear from the two experts. <laughs> what is the state of modern dating? And what are two insights that you could each share with us about mm. things you've learned about dating from doing the podcast? Great question. <laughs> so I'm going to roll this up into two insights. And one of them is the state of dating. I really think when we first started the podcast four and a half years ago, it was a lot of dating fatigue because it was hot to be on dating apps. Everyone and their mom, literally everyone and their mom was on <laughs> dating apps and people felt very fatigued. They felt like they were going on several dates a day and these dates weren't amounting to anything. But now four and a half years later, I think where we are at now is that we're more mindful about dating. We hear this all the time. I want to meet people in real life. How do I do that? How do I get off the dating apps? How do I do more self-discovery and self-awareness? So the state of dating right now is we calm the fuck down <laughs> from dating apps and said, how do I actually do this dating thing right? And the second insight I have is that men and women experience the exact yep. same things. So if you are sitting here and you're like, mm, those men, those douchebags, the men are also <laughs> like those, bleh, you know, like, we complain about the exact same things about each other. Everybody goes, everybody's a dick, everyone's been mean to someone. So when you think it's like the other sex or the people that you're trying to date that are at fault, you have to look to yourself first. For sure. I think the state of dating is that anything goes these days. Like I think back in the day, like everyone's goal was to like get married, have kids. And mm -hmm. I think right now, like that really just varies so dramatically. Like we see people that have been in, married for years and are opening up their relationships. We see triad relationships. Ooh. So plus two to a wedding, that's always fun. Um, <laughs> I mean, we see people that are single and loving it, like Larry's episode, single and loving it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's just like um, right now, there is no right one right way to date. And I think that's actually really wonderful because we've seen like from the divorce rates and like generations above us, like this is kind of our chance to like define what a relationship should mean on our terms. So it's actually a beautiful thing in my opinion. But <laughs> the second thing I would say is um, I think everyone's looking for a connection and there's a ton of options right now. And it's really like just cutting through the BS on the dates. Like back in the day, there was like this rule, like no politics, no talking about your exes. And like now it's like anything goes and oftentimes you don't get that next date. So it's like better to be real than to like have the date talk within reason, of course, like you don't have to give your whole life story maybe on date one. But I think just opening up and getting real early on is really where people are going. <laughs> 